Hello, everyone, and welcome again to another Teacher Joseph podcast. Well, I just had that surreal moment again with the supermarket delivery service. For those of you who listen to this podcast regularly, you will know that here in the UK, we have this really bizarre, strange service. The supermarket delivers your food, that part I like, but they don't bring it in bags. They bring it in trolleys and crates. And they bring it to your front door, and then you have to unpack it into your own bags and take it to your kitchen. This is a bit of a problem because it means that I'm on the floor trying to unpack these crates while the supermarket assistant stands there and watches me. If I ask him to help, he'll say, oh, no, 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 it's your food now. You've bought it. You have to pack it yourself, just like you do in the supermarket. If I ask him to assist me in any way, he may lift a few things and put them in one of my bags very slowly. But generally, they stand there with their arms folded, just looking or looking at their mobile phone. Uh, while I am on the floor in front of them, trying to desperately, quickly unpack all of my food into my own bags to take to the kitchen. This might sound like it's okay, and if you only have a small amount of food, then it's fine. But in this house, it looks like we're feeding the 5,000 because there's food everywhere on the floor and I have to get it to the kitchen. So the supermarket delivery man's just been. Another thing about these people, they, they look a little bit odd. You know, more and more here in the UK, people are living different kinds of lives or identifying themselves in whatever way they want, you know, using any adjectives they want. That could be a particular orientation, or it could be a, a particular way of living, or a way of dressing. So the end result is you get people who work in public places who are serving you, but because they look and act so different from you, it's very hard to kind of create any kind of conversation with them because you have nothing in common. When you come to the UK, if you use the metro or public transport, you should remember that we are a very, very diverse bunch of people. We have people from all over the world living in London and also around the UK we have different accents, different shapes, different sizes. We have people of all kinds of preferences. So you need to be prepared to think outside of your own box. Now, for British people, that's also kind of difficult. I'll give you an example. So for me, I'm 52 years old now. So when I'm in a shop or I'm on the metro or something like this, inside me, I'm still thinking, mm, is that a man or a woman? Is it? I don't know. And then I have to remind myself that that way of thinking is an old way of thinking. We're not allowed to think like that anymore. We just have to accept that the person in front of us is living the life they want to live, and we affirm that, respect them, and whether it's a man, woman, being, animal, it doesn't matter. They just give me my shopping, I take it, and everyone's happy, and I shouldn't be questioning their identity or gender or gender preference. This is quite difficult for people who come to live here, especially countries which are not as diverse as the UK. So I must admit, I was watching the delivery driver bringing me my shopping from the window, and I thought, oh, woman, no, man, no, 
what is this person? And then I thought, no, you shouldn't ask that question. You should just be grateful the person brought you the shopping. And you should remember they're on their journey to wherever they're going, as a metaphor. And so am I. So I don't need to know their personal lives. But it's just automatic, isn't it? We do that. So if you're coming to the UK, just remember to stay open-minded and you don't have to question how people are living. Uh, but it might be a bit of a shock if you come from a conservative country, which isn't quite as diverse with the way people dress, the way people act or the, the things that people do. Oh, I'm almost at six minutes. That's it for me today. Take care. Bye.